start over. Go. <clears throat> go. <laughs> again? Yeah. Here we go. We are back and doing it again. That's right. One more time. Again. <laughs> hey, Flash. We're hey. ready to dork. Hey, ready hey, to hey. dork now. Dork right and, here. Dork and suit is on. Dork and suit. So, uh, you're Flash somebody. That's right. And you're and Vinny. I am. Do Vinny do it's Tweedledee and Tweedledoo. Ah. A couple of yak and yahoos today, right here on uh, real liberty media.com mm. RLM radio. X Y S Z tiny bubbles, tiny bubbles. You say, well, tiny say hi to the RLM so we can knock that out because we always, ah. yeah, about like two hours into the show, <laughs> about yeah, something like that. All right, so we start again, and again at the top with the bar man. He's a, a great money bot over here in Cowboy Tech. He is our great guy out there in the western skies in the Pacific Northwest. Hey, Grimner. Oh, Grimner. Great and mighty. Yes, indeed. He, he uh, He's put all this together yep. over here. It's quite an amazing network that we have right here, a way to uh, – Get dorky sometimes and serious at other times, and uh, share the the view of the world all around the world. So oh, back to uh, hi Kate. Uh, she is gonna get wet uh, going to a ball game with her friend Pancho. Shoot, shoot a racist. I guess I wasn't racist is enough. Oh, that one. Grim just <laughs> called us dumb and dumber. Wow. Oh, that's perfect. Yay. Wow. I love it. I, I, uh, Brandon and I were dumb. Well, and which one are you though? Are you dumber or uh, just dumb? Oh, uh, we gotta, we gotta figure that one out. Mm. I think I'm dumber though. Oh, do you? Tw tweedle dumb and tweedle leader dumb. D. <sighs> Whatever it takes to get this, whatever, to get this it. dork thing accomplished, we'll do it. Keep, keep your wit, whatever it takes. That's yeah. right. Because words only hurt when you go to school to hear them. And that's today's lesson. Goodbye, everybody. See you next week. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> Let's get on with the howdies. There's anti uh, or is I. Anti or is I. Anti and Asmo. Chalcedonia and Chloe. Hey. And then Chloe Borrowy. Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Uh, the D underscore C. He's a fella not from DC, but is the Don, a man himself. It, not the uh, not the uh, the orange Don. No, not him. There you are, Flash. Yep. I see you, Flash. Somebody, <laughs> uh, free and slave, and Graham Z. Hello, Miss Mary. I'll be Don C. You know that that guy sounds familiar. Oh yeah. <laughs> You think? Yeah. DC. Wait, I need my scroll. Ah, you need your scrolling, scroll. Scrolling, scrolling. Here's our favorite a friend from the other <laughs> persuasion, the Judge Dredd. We, we, we affectionately refer to him to Hansel. Ah. And Mr. Meester Brow. Ah, I think, I think, yeah, he, he may be uh, probably sleeping, I'll bet you. Maybe, yeah. But, He's been yeah. working those weird shows. Right, and uh, you you know when he's awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He hey, Poxified. He ain't no freaking Pox. Santa Claus, is he? <laughs> Poxophone ah. and palm sauce, mm. and uh, there is some lovely rain, as uh, rain. as uh, Grammy ah. uh, likes to say. Ah. And speaking of which, our very own Vanna White, right here in the Real Liberty Media chat is the rlm fluke yes i'm being oh. species oh, the I, I am indeed and we will make some memification out of the whole business before it's all said and done i say rob works and sometimes hey, he just works huh? yeah sometimes he does sometimes he just lays around hi roams <laughs> he roams about as well and there i am with my unchanged name of Vinny, which will be Vinny do ah Vinny dumb uh, do -do 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 -do. Uh, uh, sounds like a phantom anyways and speaking of which there he is and a beetle to boot mm. beetle yeah, cool facts 101 in cyber noogle 
Noodle too. Hey Dakota, how you doing? I'm glad you dropped in. There. And our Let's hey, this is our favorite. I think hands down, our not Hans, hands down, our favorite favorite ice uh, is this world traveler, Mister D Dork Cake Z. Ah, mental Hello, pancakes. Dork. Yes, yeah. mental pancakes. What a guy. And he came visited you. He came to visit, came with y'all one time, didn't he? Uh, maybe. You have to ask Mental about that. Uh huh. He's a world, worldly world filler. traveler, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's been around. Here's, yeah. Here's my favorite Canadian, hands down, not Hans. Hands down, Frumpy. Ah, Frumpy, the Canadian. Heart's yeah, he, he's like the Canadian George Carlin. <laughs> George Carr. Hey, he's dead. Hold on. Grommet. We're going to have to have a grommet. We need a grommet. grommet. We need a grommet. Okay. Yeah. Get a grommet. I'm leaking over here. Get a uh, grommet. We're leaking. Need a grommet. You got it. Ha, ha, ha. And, and a Java doctor. We're going to need, hey, uh, need coffee for this operation. And a barman will provide the coffee. Ah. Upon nice. demand. There it is. Let's see what he gives us today. I don't know. Yeah, barman. So we've got, uh, he goes to the coffee bar and pours a cup of freshly ground and brewed Kona coffee. Ah. And hands it to me, Vinny. Yeah. Thank you, Bart, man. What a guy. What a guy. JJ's nine, the Scotland feller, and Kozu. Uh, is it tight? Uh, moi, moi. Hey, Ponder, Ponder Gander's got an underscore after his name over there. Uh -oh. Got uh, What's going on there? Uh, I guess he's looking around uh, on another level, I would say. Sock puppet. Sock puppet. Yes. Just a sock puppet. He ain't got... Mm -hmm. Skittle. Is, is there to know? Skittle. Skittles. Mm, Skittles. Uh -huh. uh. Okay. It, it's only one flavor this time. Ah, lucky us. Oh, I, uh, I, I came... Uh, Upon my feed over on the, the Thank You Book. Yeah. My, uh, speaking of world travelers, mm -hmm. when uh, when I first came on to, to Facebook, it was multi-purpose. But one was to uh, to go about exploring the world. Uh, pretty amazing to, to go out and see and find just normal rural people that live somewhere else and to find out how much we really are alike. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, it it was the setting, the the theme for uh, when I first came into radio with uh, my broadcast that UCY.TV is what matters worldwide. And uh, that continues out here at Real Liberty Media. And I'm, I'm coming back uh, the first of the year with a 13 and a half uh, part series called Radio Writing. And uh, I tell you that. Why 13 and a half? Um, I'll be covering the uh, Bundy Ranch standoff and the trial and uh, laying it out like a magazine, like a, a audio blog, an odd blog. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. then uh, then come back and take all the audio into uh, transfer into type, go in, tear out all the uh, andums and the, saying the same thing again and again, you know, take out the yakking. Uh, part of the Yahoo, at least, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> dissection. Oh. Yeah. Cut really? it up. Well, I think because you were actually at Bundy Ranch physically and you kept a, you know, a, a record of what took place beyond what people were told took place, that someday that's going to matter. But right now you just got to go through the bullshit, <laughs> the bullshit of doing it where it doesn't seem like anything's coming of it. You know what? Uh, there, there's, there is, and, and has been many times where there's uh, been events uh, of such great magnitude and polarization. Um, and when things like that start happening and you start pulling thousands of people, the, uh, those the occupiers, you know, of course we, uh, contrast the occupation, uh, in a perfect world with two seats, but, we see how it's dealt with. Uh, you have you have a ruling system that uh, does not 
uh, tolerate too much uh, uh, stray. Uh, don't allow much straying out outside the confines of the uh, the pens that we're confined in. So most people don't even know it. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. They, uh, of course, it starts uh, something like that that was really grassroots, uh, uh, fired up and brought uh, thousands and thousands of people, not only from across America but uh, from across the world too. Uh, right away, you get the uh, the provocateurs. Uh, some of them are, are uh, governmental agents, and that's proven. Uh, then then there's the nutters that uh, are provocateurs and unto their own cause. Uh, and I, I would name uh, Screwy Louie uh, for one down there now down in Arizona. He's mm. he's uh, that's a long story. I'm going to be covering him. He's going to be part of. Uh, the, uh, I ain't sure what I'm going to call it yet, but the the, the nutter section is the best uh, short-term description right now. Anyways, yeah, that that they come in and, and tear it apart, and that happened. And then when you get really, really like it's turned into, and now we have Ammon Bundy is uh, uh, withdrawing from the uh, the uh, the Patriot movement. Yeah, I read that headline. I didn't read the story. You know, that uh, because he has some compassion for people other than, uh, you know, that's here in America. Well, that, of course, the whole border thing, the migration thing, it's all big game. Uh, you know, that's a big game. Of course it is. Man, what incredible division it's caused, it caused in this uh, patriot movement. I, I mean, literally, uh, people are, are uh, tearing each other's throats out. And, and they don't know their own freaking history either. All they know is yeah. the, uh, revolution and, and the 13 colonies, but they don't they don't stop to think about, well, that's one thing, but how did all the rest of the land get, you know, gobbled up by federal government? That's a big part of the issue out west as well as the, uh, uh, how much land the federal government does own, in, in some cases 90%. Mm -hmm. and, and that is the, uh, that is the big uh Underlying issue is the uh, is ownership of the land. Who controls it? Mm. I, I want to tell you, this as being a, a a Westerner as well as a Southerner, uh, there <laughs> yeah. there is a lot, a lot of land out there. Uh, you go you go by sections of land, a square mile. You know, here in Arkansas, you know how many cows would you put on an acre uh, if you're rotating? Uh, in the same sense, in the desert. Uh, it's a long ways between things out there, and there's a whole lot of the same thing in between. So these uh, these cattle out there will will move along and graze, and they or will concentrate down into uh, uh, areas of uh, high concentration of feed. Uh, but as they browse this stuff off, it grows back fresh and uh, it, even better. It, it allows for other animals to come in behind them and have a better quality of forage. Uh, it's like pruning the pruning the bushes or I think Ryan was, I think he was saying that pruning a, a rose bush. Uh, it, it does, in fact, uh, maintain it, a, a healthier environment and enhances it for the uh, all the other wildlife. The rancher out there has uh, uh, gone to uh, lend a hand in nature. You know, left to itself, uh, nature goes to uh, disorder. And, uh, so man brings order. To the land as a steward, uh, he's piped water down uh, from springs and miles and miles of piping down to the tanks out in the desert where uh, cattle would otherwise not be able to roam. They'd uh, they'd be uh, have to be confined to along the river or down like the at the lake, and so you move your cattle uh, decently from one area to the other and it changed through the elevation. I spent 40 days out there uh, this last year uh, there at Riverside. Camped out and uh, elected myself sheriff. As a matter of fact, you remember. Uh, it, it is a lot of issues that uh, I'm going to try to bring it all together. And, and in my rambling, then I can take and maybe condense it all down. At the very end, that last episode will be that 0.5, that one half out of 13 plus one half will be the prologue. That'll be the prologue. So I want to bring it all together uh, into an hour or two at least. Yeah. Condensed, yeah. condensed version. And, uh, Tell it all. Well, I wanted, 
to give you a, an opportunity on the jokey dork table to have a minute of serious and pitch your, you know, pitch your program and let people know you're doing it because to the people it matters to, you're a good source of the information. So there you Clive go. And Bundy. Clive and Bundy says, where are you media? And uh, so I did take that as a challenge and I, I went back for the, uh, for the court, for the trial and, uh, and stood there. Uh, and I think standing matters. Um, and we all need to do it one way or another. Grimner's, <laughs> Grimner's asking you something on the RLMP. Oh, I was putting my glasses on to look. <clears throat> Good yes, idea. sir. Yes, sir. I am. Uh, I've started notes and uh, I'll go back um, and uh, uh, add some more here and put this together. Yeah. And, and I got some funny stuff to put with it, too. Some serious fun stuff like the art thing i shared that uh, photo from my friend I, I think i left off on that story Ashram in england so i i went out on this voyage of discovery and met people like that and uh you, know, you and i met like that on this uh tripping around the uh, interwebs of the world a way yeah, to travel Saul Bonaire from um the netherlands yeah Eastern. holland that's how i met well Netherlands, Holland. I know. So Everybody calls everything a fucking wrong name anyway. I know. Because wherever you're sitting, it belonged to somebody else before you. And the story you believe is, I guess that's the story you believe. And there you are. Hi, Chloe. Apparently. Chloe's listening. Ah, da, 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 da. Mm, hey, Chloe. <laughs> better watch <laughs> so, like my mouth. I better not say any dirty words. She might be at home. Is this a safe for a uh, safe for home broadcast? Well, you know how I feel about words. Come on, if you're insulted ah. by words, by certain words, then you're insulted by all words. Well, so no, it it's not really necessarily matter. that the person be insulted, but the the uh, happenstance listener yeah. uh, uh, in the background. That's that's my point. Wait, but let's yeah, get on okay. our, because it is communication and it is words and. Um, yeah. Quite uh, honestly, sometimes uh, um, an extra uh, expletive, but if if you can even imagine saying that, and only four letters. Um, what? Is, uh, apropos. Uh, oh, apropos. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you're uh, right. Here I shared this uh, photo that, uh, and I was talking about Ashra Wood from uh, my friend from England that I met in my very uh, earliest days of uh, internet exploration. A wonderful, wonderful friend. Uh, we were so connected. She sent me uh, uh, some seeds for uh, the Malva plant in the customs confiscated my goods, man. Wow. Uh, I, did. Uh, I sent her a really cool crystal that uh, I got in Arizona. It actually came from a silver mine in Mexico. Hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been great friends and uh, uh, an inspiration, a muse uh, to me to, uh, you know, consider my perspectives. I went out to... Uh, to find people that were as different from me as I could and uh, to take <laughs> you don't a look. have to go far. <laughs> so this easel here, this uh, are the thing you put your paint on and your thumb through and the, the colors all over it. This is uh, on the, this comes from uh, Tio Miguel uh, Buca in, uh, on the Facebook. Uh, so it captions this uh, on the paint uh, spectral into art communication. Uh, my friend Ashara says, Asher, why did I say her name? Sorry. Sorry, Asher. <laughs> I'm stupid. It's words, words, words. And I'm spelling, too. Look at there. Spellings are so confusing. The colors of life, she says. And, of course, spelling it O with a O and a U there with the R. The colors of life. No matter how you spell it, I say, or sometimes say, say it, that is. I, I uh, talk -o as well as I typo. But anyway, so I came up with this, uh, let me see, where'd it go? It just popped to me brand new right off the top of my head when I saw that. And uh, so art and communication, uh, it came to me as artunication, art communication, artunication. Hmm. Brand new smash word. Oh. I, don't know. I, I like suppose. It. Uh, I don't know. Am I trying it on like a suit? Yes. Or am yes. I tasting it like Taste soup? It. Yes, a soupy soup. A soupy uh, soup. Huh? No, a soupy suit. Suit. Yes. 
a soupy. Let it taste it. Really? Thank you, Grimmer. Uh, yes. Okay. I'll try it. <clears throat> Tastes like coffee. Is it hot? Yeah. Cirque brought me some elixir when we started to restart the show. So very, very nice. I'm so spoiled. It's not believable. Go, wow. <laughs> why? Yeah, ask yourself, why? <laughs> I was having so, a comic moment. Stop. What? So I ask myself, why? I say, many why? Why, why, why? Hey, my, my brother says something. Why not? On YouTube. When Josh Hamilton Easley, great grandson. Let's see what my brother's talking about. Oh, okay. uh, my, yes, my brother. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, this is a brand new uh, video I'll put up from uh, my trip around oh, the God. country last year. This is uh, when I camped out in the Stephen Easley Cemetery in Kingsport and mm -hmm. spent a couple of nights there and cleaned it up and I slept with my ancestors. Yeah. Moosey is all freaked out about it. I called into the ball. Um, so here we go. He's, uh, he's laid out the, uh, the folks here. John Hamilton Easley. Yeah. That was the son, I believe, of uh, John, who was Stephen, was the first uh, of the white, among the white folks that came into the East Tennessee area when it opened up in, I think, 1780. So... But there's actually uh, the descendants of Easley's on, uh, of, uh, on that same land since, uh, let's see, when they uh, 1780, I think it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. still there. It's a, a long, long time to be uh, living someplace. We, I guess we had to kick a bunch of people off the now the way. They, they called it treaty. But, yeah, that's there's all that there, of course. Signatures. It's the only true act of property ownership there is it's kicking somebody else off of it no it's being buried on it because <clears throat> oh. then nobody else will live there except because uh, you're buried on it so they go i don't want to build on this other I, than I, that yeah. i slept at a uh, foot of one of my uh uh grandmother's uh graves there yeah mm -hmm. wow. i wasn't freaked out about it at all no you know, I, why if I even if there was ghost, why would uh, you know a, a ancestor want to come haunt you? You know, I don't know. Sure, that you're like there cleaning it up and yeah. making a record it out. So I'm working on a project for my uh, brother, and he he uh, he's finished the whole book right here, a genealogy on the uh, Easley family, and in their uh, pronunciation and spellings of easily uh, three right. syllables. Yeah. Yes, and easily. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Uh, so I have it partially published that I'm having some problems. So I'm going to ask Grimner for um, the assistance uh, later. And me and Circle are going to, she's going to come on and help me uh, format my, my outline for yeah. these 13 and a half weeks. Oh, that's the, that's the it right there is a 13 and a half. You know, you've heard this, uh, a judge, a jury, and a half ass chance. <laughs> yeah. So I drop off an S off the uh, ass and ass chance, uh, ah. according, uh, you know, to uh, uh, generally how, how it goes. And when, when you end up in court, and especially uh, federal court, uh, you're pretty much screwed. Oh, badly. that's not good. Hey, Chloe, you got me some art and ah. communication, art and perception. Uh -huh. I'm going to pop on it, open it up. Like or, there's some kind of connection between art and perception. Wow. Let's, let's take a look inside, shall we? Oh, man. You smart people just make things too complicated. Oh, uh, it, uh, hmm. it is complicated, isn't it? The whole yeah. mess of things it is yeah. so, so complicated. And it can be done so easily. Ah! Ah! No charge. But they, they choose to do things the way they're done. You know, just understand that from the top is no matter how you feel about all that's around you, the majority of these chimpanzees love it. Love it, love it, love it. They have no idea that there, there couldn't be anything better. This is this is as good as it's going to ever be. Whew. Wow. Hmm. Hey, this is pretty cool. 
uh, art and communication uh, posted by Rex Crockett. Who's uh, Rex Eric, Crockett, like David he's Crockett. A, he may be uh, related. I bet he's uh, a descendant. I, I bet you anything. He comes from that illustrious line of old Kentuckians, and rather, rather appropriate, being as uh, our friend Chloe gave me this link. Yeah, back yeah. in the old bluegrass state of Kentucky. Uh, and my brother commented again. But let's let's talk about art and communication, shall we? Uh, uh Yeah. No, let's do that. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and there's a comment by my brother. Speaking of which, it, but, he says it was a comment hmm. in one of Paul Bucci's elegant posts, "The Four Seductions," that I said, "Art is about communication." Okay, I would agree with that to a point. But sometimes I just do art because I want to do art. For art's sake, absolutely. And, right, and people would see the thing and go, hey, how much would you charge me to make me one of those? And then you, there you go. You're kind of talking to yourself when uh, when you're making that art, though. You do yeah. express it. Oh, yeah. Really. yeah. But it's fun. I mean, it's a form of entertainment. I have an artistic side to me. And Cir Cirque's my witness to that. I mean, we and her have tried to work together. Oh, you know what? What? I laugh. I saw uh, the uh, picture uh, over at RLO, mm -hmm. Real Liberty Org. Yeah. Going along. Oh, going to do social network here. Mm -hmm. Real Liberty Org. Yeah. That's right. You too can have another place besides Facebook. <laughs> but anyways, it was a yeah a picture, and then I. Going down and I scroll and I saw it as a puzzle. I was like, wow. I was looking at it first. I go, wow, wow, what an incredible painter. I, I had no idea. <laughs> I thought you had painted it. <laughs> did, you, did you listen to the Freakers Ball this week? Last night? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I haven't got a chance to catch it yet. So I, I listened all night long. Uh, all right. Did Grim mention anything about um, the yellow, <laughs> the yellow? With yeah, yellow I, vests in, in I, I think I did. Oh, okay. I, I believe it made a, a small mention. You know, but that yellow vest, I, I see it, but I haven't even looked at it. I, I know it's just another. Uh, if if it's not, it will be, or most probably it has already been uh, co-opted. But uh, that, that's the way them things go. You know, just like talking about the the Bundy Ranch and co-opting it. You know, yeah. they always get in there and move it in the direction they want to. Yeah. Never, uh, yeah, never uh, felt to take advantage of a bad situation. How's that go? Well, it's it's all in the presentation of the indoctrinated mind, you know, how it how it weighs out to the the guy that believes it. <laughs> and because if you don't believe it, if you tell anybody that you have any doubt in the official story of what they're talking about, they fall apart immediately and start calling you insane. <laughs> To Crazy. this day, pretty much, yeah. And to this day, well, the Federal Reserve note thing at the grocery proves it every time. Yeah. And you can do that over and over and over. It would never get old, and you'll never run out of people that uh, will insist they want money. Federal Reserve notes, what's that? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mm. Crazy. Well, no. See, the reality, oh, hey, here we go with this. <laughs> The reality is we're, we're walking right into the cage they're preparing for us willingly through the electronic world. There you go. All this talk about gun laws and crap like that's so out-fucking-dated. You, you can have guns. They don't really give a shit if you got guns. They got nukes. What are, they gonna, what are you going to do? Where are you going to take your state and leave? <laughs> you, you know, you are where you're at. So... <clears throat> Right there, you are. Uh, yeah, and all this violent mode to keep you <clears throat> angry and, and armed, and in this game that's just ninety nine percent bullshit. <laughs> it's only real if you're in a violent area. If you're not in a violent area, then <laughs> what what's all the violent talk about? Yeah, there is some places oh, like that. I uh, okay, he did no. Grimner says no. We did not color cover the yellow vest nonsense. Well, the reason it got my oh. attention is I seen a I seen a thing on the maybe some link on mines yesterday or maybe it was today, and what it said was uh, five countries had gotten involved because Paris has been on fire for a long time. Blah blah blah. I've read all the 
shit, but I don't, I don't have any physical, I don't live in France, but I have a cousin that lives in France. And when I was talking with her, she wasn't sniveling about how bad where she was in France was. I think so, I've heard of her. There's well, a place in France no, where the no, women I a, do a dance. I have a cousin on my mother's side that's English, but my, she immigrated to France. She prefers it there. And when I spoke oui. to her in Scotland, she never had a bad word to say about France. So it led me to wonder... Just like America, how much of it is real and how much of it is, you know, exaggerated uh, visuals of what really happens? You know, and they stretch stories and bend them and change them and things, uh, things aren't what we're told. What, what the world needs is more walls. You think? How I'm many can't... more, how many yes. more walls? How's your wall going down in, um, on the Texas Arizona, New Mexico, California line doing. Well, they've got some dumb hillbillies down there, and they started out as pretty, uh, pretty intense at throwing rocks back and forth, and somebody come with a box full of gear nights and started throwing them. No way. Yeah. Wow. So, so, some of the smarter fellers on the other side picked them up and pulled the pins and threw them back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't make any sense. Not yeah. a bit of sense. It never does. Sounds like nonsense to me, but okay. Wow. I'm going to throw you a grenade to to throw back at me live. And ex no, that's stupid. Catch. Catch. But, all right. Now, these are the stories that mainstream media carries, right? Yeah, I don't pay any attention to that stuff. I let all that uh, other idiots. <laughs> well, apparently, you paid enough attention to tell me, bonehead. You told me. I had no idea. About the yellow shirts? Yeah, I mean, I had an idea, but I didn't. But watch it. You was talk, tell me about well, it's yellow of shirts. Because there's countries, see, like Denmark doesn't take any of this Muslim shit to heart. You know? You know what I mean? They don't kiss ass in the public eye. The public doesn't have to. Ooh, they're Muslims. You got to bow to them. No, I never see any of that. And yeah, Muslims, I can't imagine. And the Muslims that live in Denmark... Are, speak Danish, so that I encounter, and they got families and shit. So now they're just Danes to me. But if I was in America, there'd be a definite, uh, bigger difference in the, in the society I'm from. Well, this so, is a uh, this is pretty much uh, um, white here. Well, well, it said it hits it. it hits Sweden this big yellow shirt thing, and Sweden doesn't have a government right now because. There's nobody sitting holding power. <clears throat> it's it's <clears throat> chaos. The people have kind of well. Anyway, so if this yellow th shirt thing is true, it sounds more true than anything I've heard in a while. Man, we walk and talk right on past the 420 report. <clears throat> oh my God! Salutatory, uh, puff puff yeah, pass. Yeah, it's all your fault. I'm gonna fire you as the 420 expert. And this has been a breaking report from the Buzz Beaver. Fire in the hole. Paris says burning. That's the kind of burn we like. Burn, baby, burn. And uh, Disco Inferno. Hey, for Grimner, that would be great. Yeah, we need to, I like, have a, a freaker's ball or a balls to the wall. We'll have it uh, uh, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Yes. What does that mean in in plain old words well the hole is the bowl and you put the... oh that okay yeah. I, i'm not gonna assume anything with you bosco yeah that's uh dangerous yeah well you don't mess around with words much well i do oh you do all the time oh, my You're mistake kidding? i thought you were being serious all this time. i walk uh, and talk the and joke's on tomorrow. me ha 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 Well, Graham Z is now a way on the RLM chat. And, uh, yeah. And she's not back. Uh, we're going to wait. We got to wait 24 hours for a missing persons report. She said she's gone for 60 seconds. Yeah. She's not returned yet. Well, you know, I did a, um, I did a program last week, I think solo, right? And it was about reality. Could anybody hear you? Yeah. You so were solo. 
<laughs> yeah, it's solo. But yeah, no. and I was going to do my reality update Dork Table podcast tonight for the, you know, followers of the Dork Adventures. That's great. Dork Adventures in store for you today. Well, I'm telling you because like telling you the story about the train, I, I was 30 years old, or, uh, not, not quite 30, but I looked about 23, four people always said 23, 24. And I was real small, like, you know, I am real small. So being afraid of people never really, I don't know, didn't really occur to me. You know, I've always had a, a an underlying trust that whoever I'm running into is more like me than not like me. And that's held up pretty good. And a few times I was wrong in it in violence. And that was when I was young, when I didn't know how to, how to identify the, the bad things in life just by looking at them. <laughs> oh, I used to walk off into them way in knee deep. Yeah, fuck it. Because it was living. We came out of, hey, go do it, not read about it. I was in, uh, I was in California. It's out uh, under a, in apartments at the, uh, no, the over, the mm. awning thing, you know, where you park cars under. Okay. And uh, so I'm out there in my car, and here comes these, uh, I just six or eight of these uh, young cholos. Uh -oh. And I, I have me a, a have me a twelve pack of beer out there and working on car and hey Moose, said, hey, hey give us a beer hi Moosey give me some beer essay <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it turned into the you know what a jump is I said jump and that's when yeah that's when I had fun with that sort of thing uh, wow hey. I'm jealous I don't have encounters like that with people. Oh, that was long ago. Well, right, but still, I just, I don't know. I'm not imposing physically, so it's brought me a fairly uh, soft life physically. I you used know? to fight. I used to fight for fun. Nah, a couple of times when I was a kid, you know, a teenager, fight over, um, like, what would you call it, territory. You know, this is where I'm the big shot, and you pissed me off, made me look stupid, so now I want to fight you over it. And that happened a few times as a kid. But overall, not. Now that I'm a grown-up, I still get that. But I still, I, I bring the worst out of some people. I do too. I mean, who got them? Who got them? Who got the ducks? Ah, yes. Duck hunters. Grimner got them. Uh, Good shot. Yeah. Oh, Moose got congratulations if she got her dog. If I got that correct, I read she did. I think I she, usually, did. she did. I usually she did. misinterpret got, something. Got pictures. You put them some pictures yeah, okay. over there and wire. Well, Cirque's a Cirque's a big dog lover, you know, and I'm I'm the guy, you know. So the dog and me are we're very cordial, but she's Hannah's Cirque's dog more, you know, like as far as that together thing. So, but I understand what it's like to have your own your own personal dog because they what they do for a human. <coughs> Humans can't do for humans what a dog can do for a human, because we're on way different wavelength than uh, than the dog. Well, yeah. you know, dogs have that same uh, that relationship developed really uh, in the same sense of being in them bad places in the world, uh, fight or flight, mm -hmm. uh, or freeze. That's that's something that's also not considered. A lot of people do freeze, and uh, sometimes freezing, not moving, just holding still, waiting. Mm -hmm. is the same is the right thing to do yeah but uh other times uh more immediate would be the the fight or flight and right. the dog pa pausing yeah. is what i what works for me thinking thing is out dogs pause not mine no hannah's a warrior she's an aggressor no i mean pause so yeah. there, there was this there was this old dog in it and he limped into a bar, and he had one of his paws <laughs> all wrapped up in a band-aid. Yeah. <laughs> band and he says, I'm looking for the low-down, dirty dog that shot my paw. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's a good one. Uh, but it's right. old. Right. That's yeah. rough. Well, <laughs> you got to remember we're old, though. We're not young. It's hard to teach the old dog new tricks. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, why? Do you think, okay. You got to learn and be taught. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I was thinking of it 
in terms of life has taught me, you know. You have learned from life. Well, right, but it's because I resisted the the right, you know, answer and went the hard way and suffered the results of the flow. Because there's an easy way to do shit and there's a difficult way to do shit. And for whatever reason about my nature, I've always liked to take on the uh, impossible and see if I can't survive it. <laughs> so there you go. I like uh, getting just down to the nitty gritty sometimes uh, where you can go out and relax with uh, little or nothing. And it's hard to do in a world that we live in today sometimes, isn't it? For most because, people. Yeah, because, well, yeah, because of the electricity. If you take the electricity out of the equation, then you have a whole different world. Yeah, you know how much uh, manpower it take would take to uh, to be able to replace that. You know, if little, you're looking at yeah, little to none. I hear building you, heating water, the simplest of things. Well, I'm going to tell you why I disagree, and I think that there's a way to fix it that's already built into the system, and I'll I'll explain it if you give me a minute. Okay. okay. Now, in the downtown area of Copenhagen, or Copenhagen of Freddytown, uh, it's not very big, and it's all pretty much connected by a building or of, you know, a bridge or something. Anyway, there's a fitness there's a fitness place. I'll take a picture of it and post it on uh, on the RLO. And what my my idea is, if the electricity went down, people pay to go ride these exercise bicycles. So if you just turned that around and generated the electricity, you know, there you go. Well, huh? You know what else would be? Uh, they it's like a so I think they use it in a type of a braking uh, transference back into the engine where they use an engine brake and uh, it spins up. A generator store that power well all i'm saying is the, and they're bicycle lovers where we live so it's not it's not a, a threat to this place to be threatened with electricity i don't think i think there's a reason for it it's too small of a country <laughs> to have the problems of a uh, of america it's very easy to survive around here you know because there's no diversity like like it's some big deal you know, there's dark people and there's a lot of white people here, but the dark people don't get treated any differently in society by the white people than they treat each other. So it's pretty good. Yeah, here it's it's pretty much what there's uh, um, in Shirley, uh, the closest little town, there's a convenience store over there, corner store and uh, the guys that own that are. Uh, cashmere, cashmere, I think it is. Yeah, cashmere. Uh, not sure what religion they're in, whether it be Hindu or Buddha or uh, I assume maybe uh, uh, is uh, Islam. And yeah. do you know some Arabic? Uh, there's some, there's some Indians. Uh, dot not a feather. Uh, they own motels in Clinton, about 20 miles from here, uh, by road and highway. Yeah. Uh, and very, very few uh, black folks. There's some uh, that did come up and moved up here after Katrina and stayed. Uh, there, there's a place uh, uh, right up north out of Clinton uh, that was a, a place where black folks lived. But most of them uh, over the last few uh, decades have uh, migrated off to other parts. And uh, it's a very, uh, I mean, negligible population. So this, and you know, without some sort of diversity, I think that is uh, great for. Um, well, all I mean you is call that, it prejudice. But all I mean is that that that's what I'm saying is the diversity here in the little little like village kind of little town I'm in. If people have it, any prejudice towards other people, they don't freely exhibit it. You know, they're not mm -hmm. a, an aggressive society. They're very relaxed, so they they don't want you to shit in their in their parade. So they don't start anything by shitting on yours. Yeah, that's that's the way it is here. I mean, nobody, uh, I don't see anybody making a, a deal. There's there's people everywhere. I'd say that are uh, just mad at the world in general and look for 
the difference and uh, right. try to make that the issue for a division to make themselves feel better sometimes, maybe. Okay, Even now I, I lived in, in the United States and I, well, I visited Canada. I visited Mexico for, I mean, less than a month, both Canada and Mexico. But I lived in England, Scotland, Denmark, and the United States. So I figured that I've got a little bit of variety there to, to you know, judge how people live from. In Denmark, the people here, are, it's as closed society as all it is. It's just really that simple. You talk about, they're just not racist about it. You know, there's none of that shit. They don't tolerate that kind of uh, second-hand bullshit talk in the first place. If you can't talk with just the truth of something, you know, giving it a group to support it doesn't change your argument. So I think because there's so many, there's so fewer people to answer to here in society that they answer with more truth than most of them do. That I've lived in. You know, I'm sure there's places like probably Nepal. It supposedly has a very good long, uh, you can live longer there than any place on the planet. But it, it's not so truthful that people just go walking around and saying in a uh, Danish accent, hey, your butt's really big in them pants. It looks like it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, but what, you know, what does it accomplish when you do that? I don't know. See, yeah. it sounds funny to say it like that, like you're a Swede, oh. but you're talking like you're from oh. uh, over there where you live at, not in Europe. We're in Scandal Navia. Scandals. Yeah, because see, the people that live here, the people I've encountered, they don't recognize their self as a part of Europe, but they recognize their part of Scandinavia because they're going off a way older map and way older history than me and you. So I'm going to go with the people that were here first in the first place <laughs> and uh, not argue with them in their own land about what they tell me. Are they Vikings? I think they came from Vikings. Yeah. Now, today, uh, there's a, there is like layers of different kinds of people in society here. You know, there's your this group and your that group, and there's groups in the, you know, in the, like in Copenhagen, because it's such a big city with so many people. But where I'm at here, I don't know. It, people that just look different, that you don't, there's no group for them. They just look different to you because you're looking at them. So it's all is, a matter of the person looking. <laughs> it, is there a city called Skull? over there anywhere i believe i've heard it but i don't know it could be a word i read or something anyway why you got well, I, well there's uh, the hillbillies you know general rednecks uh, uh some of them like the skull yeah they sell a lot of that shit here too really yeah, yeah. You, like, you like the fresh mini flavor i don't use it but I know they sell it where I buy cigarettes. So I know that if, as much of it as there is, it must go, you know, they go through a lot of it. You don't stock things in a, a store like that that people don't want. <laughs> you, you give them what they ask for. That's right. And, yeah, you because know, it's, it's a vice, you know, vice-based shop. Alcohol and uh, cigarettes. Gambling and phone charging food little snacks to go to carry you on your way <laughs> hey excuse me one sec I'll be yeah right i was just uh defining the little place i reside Ow. in because to me it's so different than any place i've ever been before and i didn't expect to be uh i don't know what the right word is accepted here as you know but i i don't make a big show of being an american either there's no American flag in my front yard. You may ask yourself, hey, why don't you have an American flag in your front yard? And the answer would be because I'm in Denmark and they fly Danish flags here. And they even have flagpoles. I'll, I'll make a, another another attempt on that too. Is uh, If you're interested in where we are, they got, uh, they got flagpoles in, in homes just, you know, three four bedroom homes 
and, they, and they're on the little street we're on, and they got flagpoles that are Did huge. Four they have they with flags on them. Yeah, they they own their own flags. There's different flags for different locations. Really? Yeah, just like in America, man. You got your diehard fucking Danes. And these people ain't budging. <laughs> I'm telling you. They wave their fucking... They do just like America. Okay? No different. It just... Well, okay. How I mean no different is, is the beyond what you can see is all the same. The expression is similar. But the 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 boldness that it goes to to use to to be hold a stand that that you believe in that deeply that's pretty that's some serious shit very serious it. yeah that, I don't a lot it. of I don't a lot it. of people a lot of people here got it you do you have it no oh okay so you're not loyal to the united states of america and all that kind of crap um hey, i'm i'm loyal to peace oh so the less encounters the better absolutely hey. That's uh, that's exactly uh, what we're looking at right now in this. Uh, I had to throw the fingers in there for the patriot movement um, uh, and and sex. Let's call it um, not sex, but <laughs> the offspring, I guess. So maybe it did come oh. from sex. But yeah. anyways, uh, French uh, movements and what they call sovereign citizens uh, yeah. crap. Uh, seen a lot of examples of, of people that have been taken out of society now for the rest of their lives or a great portion of it. Uh, Fra Francis uh, Cox, uh, uh, Bruce Doucette, uh, some other people uh, I'll be I'll also will be included in the sections that the upcoming uh, broadcast next year. It's uh, it's a shame. It's a shame to take it, tear it down. People uh, uh, put themselves in the path. They want to make this fight, but what do they do? They throw themselves right there in front of this beast, and they're gobbled up. So yes, we we want to uh, we want to be able to walk away in peace if we can at least, uh, uh, you know, come to a court uh, and stand together in in something. At least we can walk on by and pass each other at least uh, in peace. You expect that to happen under the circumstances that are being played out? No, it never oh, does. Okay. okay. No. Because I was going to say, "Wow, I want to smoke what you're smoking." But, but I, I am going to, I am going to live my life like that, and I'm going to. Uh, I don't want to be an idiot and uh, be shot by the police because I want to uh, film them as a uh, right to to travel or something. Cops is up. Uh, you got pulled over. Uh, the best thing you do is roll your window down, have your license and registration in hand. Now, I'll tell you a story. Me and old buddy of mine, we was, uh, we was uh, transfer, uh, transporting cars. So we picked up uh, and we was driving down in uh, some of us. And we all got lost down here, down in Georgia. Got separated. And anyways, me and one old boy was in uh, one left out of uh, up in Columbus, Ohio. Got down there and got pulled over by this old uh, deputy sheriff, and uh, nobody was a driving there. And police walked up there and tapped on the window with a night stick. Roll that window down, boy. Rolled it down. He said, Matter of fact, step out. He took that night stick and whooped that old boy. I'm telling you, it was something fierce. Put him back in there and told me to get out. And I said, What? They said, Come here, he said. I'm gonna give you some what for too. You know well you're gonna get down the road. And tell you, buddy. I wish he'd have tried that on me. Ouch. No, oh, I tore that one up a little bit. Ha <laughs> uh -huh. ha. It was uh -huh. a. It was a funny. Uh, funny, hysterical. Yeah. Oh yeah, because oh that was I left that part out. He says, "Where are you boys from?" He says, "Columbus." He says, "Don't you lie to me. I see them Ohio plates on your car." <laughs> Never mind. Columbus <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's that's what. Yeah, that's I like the funny through. part out. Then. <laughs> yeah, but see, that's the people that are supposedly in charge of the herd are so dumb they don't they don't know anything. So what are they doing? <laughs> it's insane, well, I, Vinny. I, I'm going to tell you. This is my advice. Uh, if the cops get in behind you, if if you run, you're taking a chance of getting killed. That's for certain. Yeah. So yeah. 
Yeah. Best thing you can do is try to get through it in peace. Uh, ask ask questions through it. I um, have a video where uh, I had an encounter up here, not far up down the highway. And I just asked some questions. You know, why you ask me for an ID? Some yeah. eighty something thousand people viewed it. And, a lot of comments on it. I quit answering anybody over there, but <laughs> we did walk away in peace and he was wrong. And I didn't, I didn't say, Hey, you're wrong. And, uh, uh, I ain't gonna do this or do that. You know, let it go on through, make your point, make a record and, uh, then, then go in and actually see if, uh, if it's right. Did he have, is, is it lawful for him to uh, stop an ID? Well, as an Arkansas law says, uh, only for uh, loitering. So if I was traveling down the road, riding with a friend, and that's what I ask, I said, "What are you asking me for an ID for? I'm not driving." Yeah, yeah. Well, it changed though. See, the, the TV and movies changed all that. How so? Because they indoctrinated people over the years to become used to police intrusion as normal behavior. Because they're 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 dealing with people that don't get, they don't get the police end of the stick. They just read about it or see it. But There's never, uh, happens, never happens in their life. Yeah, there is some uh, good example in that in, in television uh, broadcast television today. Like say for instance uh, the new uh, the remake of Hawaii Five O, where uh, they, these people in in uh, at uh, the top of authority in the top places. Uh, they have a an exemption to to law uh, and in practice what they do where the end justifies the means and they are the uh, the arbitrator. Uh, so so giving giving this uh, position of authority, it's uh, you know, some some do take it into a place of uh, where they are the you know the decider. Uh, and sometimes that's right there on the spot where it can end up where you live or die. So, so don't make no sudden moves. Keep your hands in plain sight. Well, of course, that's where you live. And then make them laugh, too. That helps. Well, that would probably happen in, in, uh, in Copenhagen, too, where there's big city police and arms and all that shit and all that terror crap that they're all fed, you know, because they believe it. It's all real to them because they believe it's real, even though it doesn't happen where they live. It's very At weird. The highway patrolman during this encounter, he says, uh, "Yeah, y'all got any alcohol or uh, drugs or marijuana?" Uh, uh, so some. when when he says uh, when he says about the marijuana, I said, "Not yet." I said, "You know where to get some?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what you got, officer? <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, he was he was confounded by the time I was done with him. I, I believe he asked me if it was okay for him to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Smart ass. And, and up until the early 80s, if I was, say, to go in, in California, I was in, and I remember these things happening. I was going to, to a, a coffee house, have a cup of coffee, and smoke a few cigarettes, blah, blah, blah. And the cops were behind me when I was walking in and, and uh, I was doing something. Well, anyway. They were just normal, everyday people. They didn't pay any attention. They didn't, you know, if I would have asked them what time it was, they would have told me, you know, that kind of time. And it turned into this now intrusive pricks that have rights that you don't have. <laughs> Excuse me? No, you got it all reversed. Hmm. It's the people that he's protecting that have rights that don't apply to him. And they turned it all around in society so that you do what the police say. And I thought, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Grow up. Hey, a, a friend of mine I used to work at the cell barn with, and, uh, and he and I also built a uh, fence together. Uh, anyways, he just got elected uh, sheriff here. Oh, yay, sheriff here. We fished together and drank beers oh, together. Yeah, I remember and, that, yeah. So... So now, what? What are you reminiscing about your? No, your well, just just thinking, yeah, you know, just thinking, you know how. Uh, you know he's he's uh, homegrown right here, but he's also uh, indoctrinated by the uh, the federal oh. authorities. This oh. a huge power base uh, the Fed set up, 
and uh, they entice they entice uh, the the counties in with uh, nice Money. little treats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah well, so, see, that's a how, trap. That's how the United Nations works. They've got the populations infiltrated from their members. So instead of having one great big United Nations, it's just scattered all over wherever they need it. This is brilliant. So it's it's invisible and it's got support of a bunch of you know parrots that they don't know what punishment is. They think they do that, that they're talking out their ass. You know, I've never lived in a jungle or uh, deserts. You know, where I'm outside naked or whatever that shit. You know, what? <laughs> There's different levels of reality still in my mind naked and afraid well i don't think so i think that if they're living in the damn you know jungle somewhere and they're naked they don't have any fear what would they be afraid of snakes no no see you no you'd be taught by your elders how to handle the, nah no you whatever your society is when you're born into is you get adapted to suit that particular society Vinny. come on <laughs> You should know that. Hey, you want to hear something funny? What? There's a food that you can think of saying that you wouldn't even eat. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, no. Eh, never mind. Can't think of one. Okay. So, so anyways, Lucas, he, he ran for sheriff before. Scott Bradley, he was sheriff for a, a good long while. Ah, okay. <laughs> and uh, so I worked with a fellow friend of mine, uh, his swamper on his dozer. He's also a, a bondsman. So I been uh been to the to the county jailhouse up there sheriff's department uh numbers and numbers of times to uh, go up there and i've uh, been on a couple of uh, retrievals as well so bond jumpers there that didn't didn't pay now, this is another uh, good piece of advice if you the most important thing you need to do if you're going to be a criminal is pay your bondsman <laughs> and since you're going to go back anyway so uh lucas is running uh, against Scott and uh, so Lucas has lived down the road from me and he had a sign up for sheriff and then uh, all a little ways down the road another old boy he's got to sign up for Scott so one night I thought it'd just be good fun to, to prank my, my friend or Lucas and I switched signs <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh I laugh and laugh <laughs> so long sometime later I'm in the I'm in the sheriff's department then uh I, I see Scott back there and I said, Hey, Scott. But I hear him talking. He's back there in his little office. Can't see him. I said, Hey, Scott. I says, I've got a little confession to make. And he, oh, that got his attention. He come out. He says, Oh, what have you done? I hmm. said, uh, I told him I switched him, son. He says, Show. Oh, he says, Don't tell nobody. He said, That guy got, got mad. He got mad. The guy that uh, I took Scott's side from. And Lucas, yeah, he didn't—he didn't think it was funny none to either. <laughs> well, you still do. Oh, it's hilarious. You're just mean. That's not mean. That's funny. So, oh, okay. That's. I didn't do it to—I didn't do it to be mean. No. That would be mean. That would be mean, right? Right. You did it to be funny. Funny. But uh, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes you Sometimes. can go too, too far. far. That's right. I have heard about that place, the Me. land of too far. That's yeah. my that's my uh, that's my trail name from the Appalachian Trail. One who travels too far. Well, it was uh, means many things. Uh, too far, going too far. Sometimes you can go too far, being funny. Ah, tell me these things. I need to know, sir. And sometimes some things are yeah. too far away. Uh, it's so far away. Can you sing that song? No. Why? No, I can't. What are you going to do about it? Huh? 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 Mm -hmm. huh? I'm thinking. You're going to try to bully me into it? Huh? I'm huh? thinking. I'm thinking. What are you going to put on your Zig Heil suit and take over my country? <laughs> oh. No, I won't, but I do have a souvenir. Yeah. Ah, yes, a souvenir of, sir? <laughs> it's a uh, spork, an orange spork. Ah, spork. No, yeah. I'm, I'm very serious. Mm. I can tell. 
Strawberry oh. series. What strawberry series? Where, where you are. Can you uh, uh, define that and use it in a sentence? No. It's just another dork joke that bombed it's, you. It, it, it will work because I'll tell you why. Because uh, it is artful, it's colorful. It, yeah. and, uh, yep, that's me. Let's Don't see. be a monkey on the dork table, though. And, and it's uh, you can't handle the tooth. I promise. Too far. Too. I don't too, want to handle that tooth. Is too, too far. far gone. Yeah, yeah. No, you can pronounce it too for like tooth. Ah, uh, too far. But, <laughs> yeah, but the meme I'm gonna show with that. Uh, you can't handle the tooth. The yeah. Uh, yeah, llama with the buck teeth. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think he would be able to pronounce it as tooth. It would be oh. tooth. Tooth. Mm. Tooth. Tooth. You can't handle oh, the tooth. Oh yeah, one of those. Tooth. Too far. Toofer. Yeah. It's a toofer. I got I got one twofer right here and yeah. I got another over here and then it's pulled three and then I had yeah. a twofer and I had a two for one deal. Wow. Boy, you're living large, Vinny, I'll tell you. Large. So what's going on in, in Vinny Land? You know Vinny Land. Hey where you uh, live in your computer, own computer computers all up up and running. I got uh Grimnar, I got the uh, splitter. It works. Uh, imagine that. It's yeah. amazing, amazing a technology. Yeah. And I got this little rat, this little mouse here holding the hand. Uh, it's good and it's bad. It's cheap. It rattles. Uh, thin little old wire. Um, the the ball is uh, it moves too easily. You know, I was talking about. I said easily. I, I was talking about a joystick. Yeah, it's what kind of a control it needs, where you could just hold the the joystick and this, as you would. Uh, tilt it in 360 degrees, you could move the mouse and it would be controlled where it's just not like slinging all over the place, right? Come to where you are at the top for your thumb, you'd have uh, two buttons, the left and right on top there with your uh, click and you'd also have a finger button. So this is how this is set up. It's a little like oblong ball with a, with a hole in it and then a button under there and then at, uh, that's your index finger and on top would be where your thumb would roll a little ball around and then there's a left and right on there. Uh, then I didn't get the scroll, which uh, uh, I should have. Grimmer. Oh. Yeah. I'm thinking uh, hindsight, but uh, uh -oh. I knew foresight too, but the only thing I was finding was the, uh, the uh, wireless. Mm. So, I, I'm wireless. thinking about maybe returning this and uh, going for something else. Uh, okay. I, I I'm afraid to, I don't know. I, actually, what I need to do is like uh, borrow one of my friends that's a gamer, borrow their, one of their uh, controllers and see what I could do with that. Even a, uh, even like one of them PlayStations or Game Boys or something like that may, I don't know, It'd be something to look at. Um, this, uh, this thing is that, I don't know, it's all like weird sensitive and I'll just be holding the uh, down button arrow. And uh, all of a sudden, boom, it hits something and jumps somewhere. It's like, what? what? Why? Why did it do that? I don't know. Neither do I. Why are you asking me? I didn't do anything to anybody. I didn't. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Because uh, Mental was talking uh, with Moose Girl on the main feed of the reallibertymedia.com chat. And that's what I was reading. And I felt obligated to comment on about it because I did. There you go, Bosco. What do you think of that? I like common mints. I like the fancy ones too. Ah, uh, the kind of mints good for you. No, no. Common mints. Common. Common. Mints. And the non, not so common mints. Oh, like, like the common. The fancy oh, ones, okay. yeah. Like the commonest. No, common. No. Yes, common is. There's oh, people yeah. that are common. Oh, okay. Not oh, communist. Yeah. Not communist. No? Communist. Oh. Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. Hey, Donna's here. Hey, Donna's here. How are you? Because Donna is here. Yes. That's right. Right here. You can't, when you're here, there you go. Look at the alternative. Do I have to? No. 
good. Th thank you very much. You're welcome, uh, very much, sir. Uh, oh, this thing is just ki uh, still what? spinning. You know what? I better go over here and do this. Okay. <clears throat> so I, I probably want to close this out, and then I'll go get it the link back oh, from uh, okay. from history. But yeah, it's weird. Remember when we were, well, when we first was talking before we come on the air? When I hover over on this side, it has like uh, what do you call them? Old-fashioned layer type of uh, strumming instruments, like a long neck. Uh, guitar with a, a fiddle bottom. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, That's it's over here. It's Who over here. Is the guitar player. Oh, this is Wiki. Uh, or a guitar fan. You know, she likes guitars. Yeah, this isn't really a guitar. But anyways, it's over here on the, this uh, side. I come up for the Tweedledee and Tweedledum, uh, which I call this Tweedledee and Tweedledoo, or, oh, or flat. Flash somebody and Vinny do. But anyway, so taken from the Tweedledee and Tweed Tweedledum and Tweedledee, agree to have a battle for a Tweedledum. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> let me try to read this there then. And it's it's hard language, I guess, because it's so old. But anyways, for Tweedledum said Tweedledee had spoiled his nice new rattle. Just then flew a monstrous crow as black as a tar barrel. Which frightened both this hero, uh, sorry, which frightened both the heroes so they quit, they quite forgot their quarrel. Uh, they said that didn't flow. Let me try it one more time. Just then, <laughs> try, 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 try. <laughs> one more time. Tweedledee and Tweedledum <laughs> agreed to have a battle. For Tweedledum said Tweedledee had spoiled his nice new rattle. And then flew down a monstrous crow as black as a tar barrel. Which frightened both the heroes, so they quite forgot their quarrel. Yes. yes. Origin of the phrase, according to uh, Brewer's Dictionary, a uh, phrase and fable. The names of Tweedledum and Tweedledee can be traced back to an 18th century epigram satirizing a feud between the composers Handel, not Hansel, Handel and uh, uh, Bonacini. Some say, uh, Compared to Bonacini, that uh, this guy had, uh, anyway, they yicked and yacked about this whole little low deal. And uh, the description of, upon meeting the two little fat men, Alice quote the nursery rhyme, which the two brothers then go on to enact. They agree to have a, ba a battle, but never have one. Mm -hmm. When they see the crow, uh, they take to their heels. The Tweedle brothers never contradict each other, even. When one of them, according to the rhyme, agrees to have a battle. Anyways, there's this uh, crazy place they call uh, down the rabbit hole. And I just think it's crazy to go off down in there if you're thinking that you're going to go catch that rabbit. Hmm. I say grab him by his ears and pull him out of the hole when he pops up. Oh. Hmm. I like your way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are in perfect harmony at the dork table on the rabbit extravaganza. Hey, Rocky, what's me pull a rabbit out of my hat? Again? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Hey, speaking of rabbits out of your hat. Okay. Have you ever pulled a rabbit out of a hat? Uh, <laughs> I haven't, ever. I've never even thought of it, but I've heard other people tell me they did it or show me they're doing it. It's one of those mysteries of life, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've uh, wow. yeah, I've taken my mystery of life theory. To I, I was I was giving it a ponder gander, oh, okay. thinking back on the days of uh, mm -hmm. as a rabbit killer. Ah, do rabbit now, killer. I uh, I I only kill ducks now. Duck here at Real Liberty Media in the chat. We have a duck hut right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The duck killer. Eh? Yeah, I remember that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I got, I'm caught up. Uh, uh. Oops. What? Oh, You're it's a... Uh, <clears throat> epic tale here. Yeah, and then I, cl I pushed the button. <laughs> I, oh, you <laughs> muted yourself. Yeah, good move, Spike. So, uh, a post was shared, and I took this from uh, Brian Hyde. 
he's uh he's a friend from the bundy ranch trial he's uh the uh the spokesperson for for the bundy ranch during the trial the official spokesperson you know i i i shot a couple of his videos for him a uh, real nice guy really a good person i, I like him and he's uh, uh very provocative in his thought so uh, i uh, i shared this in his response it, that he says uh it sure seems as though we need to punish nonconformity uh, and he says that it's uh, it's highly ingrained into our society. So here is uh, uh, from from Freeman's perspective. It's heretic, uh, heretics uh, talking about the heretics. I, it's over there on real liberty uh, dot org too. But I, I bring that in. As it turned out, our history was never too hard to understand. They just told you the wrong story. What? What story did you get about what be you know be more specific about history well which particular part of history There's all of it great big thing who tells the out. story who does tell the story and and right now we're telling a story and we're, we're communicating I'm trying maybe to be artful about it how you pronounce artful? that yeah we're we're artsy fartsy kind of people at the dork table that's the kind of people we are. I, are you very sparkly and very twinkly like a holiday? Artunication. Oh, artunication. You are the maker of words. It's vision. 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 On in the post, I say the Bible was ever so right in saying that with no vision, the people perish. And uh, it is the heretic that keeps such compelling visions alive. The yeah. point here is that heresy, thinking differently, is the starting point for, for for progress on the other hand obedience renders humans in earth leaving the heretics to do most of the heavy lifting mm. and truth be told obedience also leaves the heretics to do most of the really fun things we were not we were uh, we were not part of a negative movement it goes on to say if a destruction against the past we are out to construct something new. We were in the van of the building of a new society, which should be free, rational, civilized, pursuing truth and beauty. And it was tremendously exhilarating. Uh, what, what is that, that art right in there, that the pursuing truth and beauty in art and, and being civilized and rational and that we be free. Freedom, freedom, of expression uh the the right to to disagree but uh yeah, yeah is, well we don't have that in society anymore i don't see it that way because no. if you did people wouldn't think you're crazy for not believing that anybody's ever been to the moon which i don't believe anybody's ever been into the moon that's it's, all that Space you know, stuff, a bunch of stories. Space. But, wait, wait. We got a we got a special deal. Uh, we're gonna get an exploratory uh, search on the moon, and it's yeah. sponsored by the Buzz Beaver. It is oh. four twenty somewhere. All right. Hey, me and you both, sports. <laughs> now that's the way to get high, baby. Okay. Whatever way there is to do it, that's the way I'm doing it. Okay. I go with the flow when it comes to certain things, you know. Jump not everything. In. Jump I'm in. Not, the water's fresh. There's some things I'm not completely. Did I get him? Did I get him? Ah! Are got you fighting? I you got, fighting for duck supremacy. I killed, I killed him. Not killed him dead. Oh yeah, he's duck, fighting for duck supremacy duck, on the Duck Twacy. RealLibertyMedia.com. Yep. Right. Duck Twacy. Let's make let's make wow. sure. Let's make sure he's dead. Well, let's make sure. I guess. I don't know. Dork Cakes is putting up epic volleyball set Sons of Gravity on the reallibertymedia.com chat room. That'll do. That'll do, Fluke. Shit's happening, baby. Mm. Well, no, maybe not. Okay. I was just saying. Could It could happen. Sons of Gravity. This sounds... Uh, mm. Yeah, it could be very epic. Well, I, I really get a kick out of mental pancakes. His yeah. his input into the uh 
to the knowledge of what's really going on in the world as opposed to the bullshit where Fed is going on is, uh, he knows what's going on, as far as I'm concerned. I don't know if that means anything, but it means something to me. I got a pretty good idea. Yeah, you know, because expression is only like nine-tenths of the problem. You know what I mean? Huh, 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 get it? Huh, 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 get it? Sometimes, no? oh, <laughs> except okay. for... Maybe ten percent of the time. Ten <laughs> percent. I give you. I'd be happy to give you ten percent off. Oh, what a deal! Yeah, I'm Jewish. Oh. I have that right. It's it's in our it's in our constitution, the Jew constitution, the one that nobody else can touch. Whoa! You, you don't touch that. It. What you do? It's true. What well, did you even, did you hear that squeal? Can, can you imagine if somebody in some seat of decision? were to talk about my people the way I talk about my people. What people? The Jews. Oh, and then me and you on. argue about... Come wait, on. A All right, wait a minute. All right, go ahead, and then I'll tell you. Then, then me and you argue about there's no real Jews, and I try to tell you back, yeah, I know that, dork. That's the point, is it doesn't matter anyway. It's, it's a history, and they're all different. So well, you be, believe what you want to believe. It's Let a me, crap uh, shoot. Let me let me give you all the so-called Jews. Then. You're gonna give me some Jews? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excuse me. So okay. all all that might be a Jew. You have uh, uh, Semites. Yeah. There in that area, and then maybe somewhere else in the world, and then you'd have people that would convert uh, into a religion. Yeah. yeah. So that yeah. they're if uh, the Jew then or what Jew. Um, <laughs> Hebrew, there's a Hebrew, there's a uh, Israeli. Uh, That's new though. The, yeah, the Israelis that would be from the state of Israel. Then you have Zionists. Uh, yeah. Then what? Well, I those ones the Semites. Uh, the been there for a while. They've uh, they've got the the brown skin, and uh, then you got the white. Uh, what they call white uh, Jew. The mm. And the that they uh, converted, you know, centuries ago, something. But those uh, Jews, I guess, left, and the majority being black and coming back white is uh, is what it is now, and it's a political power. So you you can't be what a religion, a government, uh, and what else, a race. I don't know. It's all hocus pocus to me from the gate. I'm just going to tell you this. When when push comes to shove, if you're going to be on a side, why not be on the side that's going to win? I, mean I have to I don't have to believe it to be uh, to go with it. You know, you can go with a, a liar and a thief to succeed if you choose to. Well, this yeah. is my philosophy is that, well, of course, I always I always seem to Go for the underdog, but uh, in a dog fight, uh, yeah. you don't want to get bit. That's that's the first thing you want to get oh, out. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Dog will hurt you. That's right. Hold on. Let me get something. I'll be right back. Entertain uh, the masses. Oh, no. What do I do now? Okay. Well, Grimner. So I uh, started to uh, open this new uh, uh, separate WordPress and I have uh, the whole file here transferred, but I'm going to have to redo it anyways. I think uh, flip the pages because I don't think I can flip them up right there. So I'm about almost halfway through. Anyways, if I could get with you uh, uh, sometime, I think me and Circle are going to get done together and do some writing. Thank you. Hey. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. I had to get something out. Cirque, Cirque banished herself to the upstairs uh -huh. for me to, to do radio down here. Because when she sits across the room, I tend to talk a lot about her. So, so Circle, I get my own stuff. Yeah. Right on. Uh, Circle and I are going to get together here in just a little bit when we're done. And uh, mm -hmm. she's going to help me with some uh, this uh, thing called writing business. Good, good. Yeah. Good. But anyways, Grimner, so uh, so what I like to do, I think uh, – so she and I could uh, be seen in real time and not have to worry about some type of translation in between typing and talking and this and that. But anyways, so the team view, I see that, uh, you know, make sure that we can do that. Maybe have to ask right. you to come in and 
tune us up or something, whatever. Oh. That way we can work together and, uh, and, and look together at the same place. Oh, that's it? You're done? Well, I'm holding my... Oh, that. Oh. I, you should have said something, I, Mr. 420. I did. Mr. I usually announce every move I make on the radio to the world, whether they want to hear it or not. Queen, what? what? <laughs> you silly boy. What, what, what? You what? silly boy. No, I tell the truth. You're, just, you're just a yak and yahoo, mister. Tweedle dee and tweedle don't and tweedle oh, do yeah. sometimes. Tweedle and your fingers. Hmm? My fingers, Meister. Meister. Meister Meister. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Him. That guy. That guy, that guy. Hmm. So I've gotten tearing into all this stuff that I have uh, accumulated into Tyranny. You know, accumulate in files, you know, pictures and videos and uh, this and that. Thank you, Grimner. Yeah, Thank yeah. you very much. Good, sir. Uh, and bring it all together. I've gone uh, back to the graveyard. I think we talked about that. Yeah, Did we? you brought Did we? that up earlier. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing um, new in your life? Do you, do you have a life anymore or do you just. No, I'm up? going. Uh, oh, Research. man. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, my life is always great. But I've got me uh, going to hold up here and take these uh, next uh, several weeks and bring this project together. Um, I I fought it and fought it and fought it. I just can't can't fight it. You have to have uh, be able to have a voice that uh, someone can read and understand. So I, I am forced to be able to try to uh, make myself understood in writing. Ah, yeah. 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 It's a terrible, t terrible task. It makes my head hurt. Clint Richardson likes talking, to write. talking, and and uh, and or listening and reading is two different things. Some some people have a hard time listening and following along, even in conversation. Or <laughs> <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> I know you do. What you? What was we talking about? Are you saying See, something? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't listening. Oh uh, no, that's uh happens i think it's it's how we live it's part of our dna to ignore other things waiting to talk don't wanna... mm. sometimes, i don't know so, sometimes, sometimes yeah. interrupting to do it oh yeah but that's the dork table though you suffer the consequences of your actions oh yeah that's the way the world works well no the way the world works is they they give you all the wrong shit they charge you for it and if you sh should dare to uh, try to argue what they're doing, they pretty much shut you up. I mean, people are, are getting murdered in this honesty and living the truth game that we're playing here. You've been, uh, you looked at some of uh, Schaefer Cox uh, videos that I put up of uh, RLA. Yeah, yeah, the guy in prison. Mm -hmm. so got, got another oh, 20, 20 just... years to go. He's yeah, that's uh, just horrible. He is wow, man. Uh, yeah. He's in these black op prisons. It's yeah, it's uh, yeah. little Guantanamo. Oh man, uh, there's a there's a little set of letters or words something they call it. I forget how did he get call. the letter? How did he get the letter out to be read? A lot of that is held up right now. He's incommunicado, uh, no emails, and they're also holding his. Uh, it's physical mail as well. It's the last word to have on that matter. Um, wow. He, I, national I, security. Yeah. Yeah. It's all they got to do is just say national security. And wow, what a world. Where did all that come from? I, I don't remember that world. I don't want that world. He was and pretty big. He, he was getting people to listen. And he's, yeah. he's a really a fantastic speaker. It's almost, if you're listening to him, it's almost like going to, uh, uh, in, in some kind of way, those like a promotional pitch. You know what they call those guys, the motivational speakers that, uh, uh, or, 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 well, yeah, kind of like that. Hmm. Yeah, the pitchman. Yeah, I like a pitchman in a way. He, he has that ability to talk that people are receptive and, 
in the way that he is uh, communicating. It's artful or communication. Yeah. There you go with that again. Yeah, what you started with. In the language, yeah, in his words. In his well, manner, I think there's, his I truth. Think there's, a, there's a lot more to language and spoken word than we're taught. And the truth about what it is, uh, wow, we don't hear very often. But that's, you know, that seems to be my personal opinion of it. Damn the hangman. I don't know. All right, who are you going to damn? The hangman. Damn the hangman. Yeah. Why? Well, you know the story, the parable about the hangman? No. If I did, I'd be familiar with why you brought it up. Well, I, did. I must have missed this class. See, see I, I, I'm going to use this uh, and enter it into evidence, Your Honor, that uh, Flash Somebody is, in fact, not a Jew by not knowing the answer to that question. First, question. first they came for the Jew, and I did nothing. Oh, okay. You know what? Hang on. Yeah. Or do you? No. I got a I got a video over on BitChute of the hanging. Oh, you lucky guy! Yeah, I uh, pirated it. Some might say. Oh, yeah. are you one of those kind of people? Not very often. Are you a pirate, no. sir? No. Oh, or sometimes are I am a very artful indeed. Are for all I am. Har har. Yeah. Har har. Whoa. Hardy har har har. One how of these we, days, I was. Yeah. But how did we get to where we are? It's oh. More, it's more important. Not really. Than, it's yeah, not. it 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 does. Uh, it makes a big difference. That's how I found out about vaccines. Is wondering, you know, how did we get into the mess we're in? And it was unloading stuff like that on me. All right, let me uh, let me ask you to look at it like this. Let's say I uh, kidnapped you, blindfolded you, tied you, hog tied you, and dropped you off in the middle of somewhere, nowhere. Mm -hmm. Now, what's more important, finding out how to go forward and get out of there, or backtracking yourself that you don't even know where it is? It where would depend on the. Uh, it would depend on the situation. Would be nah, I. Because how would I get in that kind of a position to be tied up in now? Nah, that's insane. Hey, it's just fun and games in some places, you know. You ever been well, snipe hunting? No. I don't, I don't hunt anything. If, uh, if it wasn't for – I killed some rabbits when I was a teenager to um, make rabbit stew. To find out, you know, I figured I'd go through this process and – find out what all the country people are all going crazy about and i did it and i went nah eh, no nah, i don't want to do that but i did it first to judge whether i wanted to do it and no there I, you go i don't want to be responsible for my own source of meat as a choice okay hey fluke yeah. uh Luke gave I'm you the answer. Wait, I'm not finished yet. I'm ranting because I'm capable <laughs> of doing it. You're done. I can kill. I can you kill can't have a it. tooth, mister. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to. But <laughs> I can skin skin an animal and, you know, chop up the meat and cook it. But I can it skin a buck and run a trout line. That's see, but I can survive. Well, yeah. Country uh, boy can't survive. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, but I'm more artsy than than I am crafty. Artsy, see? Yeah. Artunicate. Well, the ideas that I have are more mental than physical. The physical is the finished product. The, the stuff that it gets my attention is the process to make it what it is. Because if you're doing art, you're taking a surface and you're basically destroying the surface or rearranging well you're well you're marring it you're destroying it that's the whole point of it that's what you're doing you know i did you're, some marble carvings in the uh, some time ago and my mom she says uh 
wow, how do you do that? And I said, uh, take away what's not supposed to be there. Yeah. Well, I don't carve and I don't um, sculpt, but I've met other people that do. And it that's always fascinated me as an artsy kind of guy. I thought, wow, that's a cool thing to have. But I've done it with other other um, methods, I suppose, is how to explain that. Hey, Don but, Quixote has said something. Who's Don Quixote? Uh, he's on Twitter. He says, uh, what's oh, the point, Twitter. Vincent? I share... See, it's notifying me. I share oh, wow. facts yeah. with you to no avail. You persist in believing the truth is relative to perspective. Uh -huh. Well, of course it's relative to perspective. How else can you discern the truth? If you're the one that's deciding it. Other people, you know, I was thinking about this idea about external, uh, external forces in your life, right? And then on the other hand, they talk about how, well, we're energy and you break it down it's this this and this and we're all connected well it sounds like the system that we're in wants to explain it both ways <clears throat> that are that there are to explain so that there's two sides to choose like there's a choice to make here you know there either is something or there isn't something well what mankind's mastered through the decades of uh, manufacturing and marketing is how to make us willing to buy shit that's bad for us it, yeah it's a big lighter society is what i call it yeah just Ooh. in time yeah use it up throw it can away quote, plan yeah planned obsolescence. obsolescence yes oh you know but see you know i know we've talked about this forever and but this isn't really so much for uh what would you say uh, arguing about it, it's more like, yeah, this idea isn't just me and Vinny. Whatever part of it you got, it's just your part of it, you know? Because we're, we're connected in a way, but we're not. We're individual, but if you think about all the different crap you do in a day, it it always requires other people. Do you, uh, you saw the, the post I put up there, I uh, put up that on Wayne Hayes. That, that rancher out there. Yeah. That, that was so Over Don. On RLO. Yeah, RLO. That was, right. yeah, that was Don Quixote responding uh, on that. He he said that I was sharing that without having any facts. And uh, so uh, I've, you know, been looking at all this stuff. And it is, it is a war by federal agencies in the West. And they're seeking to control. Not, well, they've, they've got control a lot, pretty much. But uh, now they... They want to remove people and resources off the land. Uh, they right. they claim uh, through non-governmental organizations like uh, the the Center for Biological Diversity that we need the cows off the land because uh, they're harming tortoises, uh, and we need to preserve uh, all this uh, miles and miles and miles of sage uh, grass and all the other plants, the donkey. The burrow bush, and uh, there, there's a lot of lot of plants grow out there, and most of them just grow, and nothing, yeah, nothing yeah. to eat them or do nothing with them, and uh, except the cow, and then in some cases, some of them, then uh, other animals will eat those that would otherwise be so woody and stocky that they wouldn't be able to eat them. So that fresh grass comes, the you know, growth comes back from the bush, and the the cows, they don't eat a lot of the fine grass out there. And generally, you know, grass is not a big uh, thing in the desert. Oh, they're eating bushes. Right, but do you really think that most regular people give a flying shit about the back uh, yeah. the background the background information about meat? Do you really think they want to know all that? Or do you think that they just want to get what they asked for? Well or ordered or whatever. Some people you, you know, they don't think that it, they ought to have to kill no animal to eat it, just get it at the store. Yeah. Oh, that mentality, yeah. That's what I mean, because uh, I get it at the store, please. Help me. We're, we're going to drown on this rock together, I tell you. Maybe. It It's looking pretty bleak, Vincent. Just, you know, from an amateur standard <laughs> uh, like mine, because I'm not worldly, nor do I want to be worldly. Don't want to wake up a Rockefeller or a, what you call it, Rothschild. Pass the roar on all that, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Hey, I saw a uh, 
I saw a picture on uh, Twitter of yeah. Marilyn Monroe, and uh, I forget the name of the car that is calling it. Uh, I think it's a 51 something. But anyways, there's a guy in the background. I swear it's Johnson. Oh. Um, yeah, you know what? Let me uh, let me go see if I can find that. History and Moments, I think it was. I would like to get the uh, opinion. Yeah, there's Don Quixote. Cervantes Mount. Uh, oh, okay. Pretty, oh, and he's now he's talking to Captain Carl, replying to him. Democracy is socialism. I'll be damned. You're dumber than I thought, Carl. Uh, dumb, dumber than I thought, Carl. How do you manage in this world being so pr profoundly confused about the most basic facts? Astounding. What are we talking about? Anyways, this is a big, uh, uh, big battle. There's uh, mm -hmm. the Putin the Patty Wars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is among the Putin the Patty Wars. Um, let's let's look for this uh, history and moments. Yeah. And I want to share this with everybody and let them look and see what you think. Uh, which one is it? Yeah, this one. There's two of them. Crap. You talk and let me look. Okay. Well, what's going on with me is I was going to give you an update on reality. And in my opinion, my reality, my reality hasn't shifted either direction, up, down, backwards, forward, sideways. It still seems to be flowing ahead of me as I, you know, follow it. But defining it, mm, that's still, I'm going to enjoy the hell out of defining my reality at the dork table for the rest of my days because I just, for the world, cannot understand it's so easy to, to look at the world and, and see it for what it truly is. It's so and easy. So, and, it's so easy. Yeah, but it's very difficult to uh, keep up the, the lies of society. Here it is. What? Did I stall long enough for you with my dork table I, I, update I, I, on reality? Let me try that again. Reality! I think I'm down. There, that's better. There it is. For all the real people. They called it the uh, Pontiac Chieftain, 1951. Uh, oh, yeah. Car. Look how beautiful she is. You also see into her soul, I think, a little bit that uh, that troubled soul inside that you know, leaks out. Look at the guy in the oh. background. Look at the guy in the background. You can't. Uh, you, yeah, you can't. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, I've seen the picture before, so I'm going off memory. Yeah. I, does I may be wrong. Yeah, I probably well, Of course, those are. How old are those? Those are 50 year old pictures. Maybe older. Yeah, um, She Well, she's been dead for no. over 50 years. Long, long time. That's, that's, not, I think. that's not Johnson, right? I, I don't know. Can you guys see? How could, yeah, but how am I going to tell if it is or if it isn't? Come on. Oh. Hey, can you tell if it was I'm George? That good. If it, could you tell if it was George Bush in the background uh, was, in Dallas? I was talking about that. Is that it, that, I've seen the picture. The only sure. guy that can say that he couldn't remember where he was at where he when was. Kennedy was yeah. killed. Yeah. George W. Bush, the Bush Meister. There will be no survivors. Well, one thing's for sure. At 59, I'm not going to be here for, you know, how long can I go? Please. So, as as I've learned, time is right now. You know? So, as long as my right now is okay. That's right. Usually, usually I don't got to worry or think about tomorrow because it gets here and then I go through it. Wow, what's there to know? Big choices and stuff, everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. I like choices. Of course, now the the consensus among my family and uh, ex friends, people that gave up on me ever changing my ways and joining the Republican Party or whatever the hell it was that I wouldn't do to, you know, to to make them comfortable, because that's what life's about. Is if if you're around people that you make feel you they feel comfortable around you that's what matters that's what matters what matters indeed matters how well, you stand in in my experience of what matters is it's a comfort level yeah you know? and if people are comfortable around you what you do is not really significant and if you're just being a average and regular whatever the normal 
behavior is and you're not you know climbing on furniture and acting some kind of fool then what's the problem you know, everybody's you somebody's fool yeah, but now what, what's been go- going on in, in society is they've taken the verbal word and they've turned it into a freaking weapon that you need to use law to fight. And, man, that that's the end. That's the last. There is no freedom when what you speak or what other people say you spoke can cause you trouble, physical, financial trouble. Then where's the freedom apart gone to? You know, like we're free on Grimner's site to behave as ignorantly as we like so far. He doesn't he doesn't hold a lot of uh, expectation on us and his site. He does. He does. But but we all have we all have an expectation of civility. But you can get kicked off of Twitter or Facebook for the same things you do on reallibertymedia.com. Or Real Liberty Media, or realliberty.org, that one also is, uh, they don't ban you and punish you. If you can't get a following, that that speaks for itself. And that's what happens. There's no, I haven't seen a flood of Nazis in a long time because it didn't work. You know, if you are a Nazi or whatever your group is, you're going to be in that group anyway. You don't. You know, being on online to do it now, <laughs> real hardcore people that are in groups are not on the internet. They got uh, people that do it for them. Like, do you really believe that Trump sits down at a keyboard? He says to somebody, "Type this," and for whatever money they work, they type it for him, and he just yaks his pie hole, because the words sound like something an idiot <laughs> would say. You know, I'm not I'm not completely insane where I I don't think he's <clears throat> saying these things. I just don't think he's the one physically applying it to anything. I think he's doing it. I think his fat little fingers are busy all the time. Wow. Yeah. You live in the illusion, huh? Me? Yeah. No. Maybe you don't. I don't know. You tell me, Bosco. You're the boss. You're the boss, Applesauce. You wanted to be here today. So On the run. No, so you can On pitch your um, like, your, like a rabbit. Yeah, your Bundy, your Bundy Ranch saga. Well, listen, it's more than that too. It's a uh, a radio writing series, and mm-hmm. in that, I want to include other little sub articles throughout. Mm-hmm. Right, that's relevant. Yeah. Bringing it together and, and seeing how. Uh, how we see it and say it in a way. Uh, also, little uh, little fun little uh, things like uh, sentence structure, maybe just a little what, whatever. Just an example. Uh, the different uh, things over. Let me see what's the name of that site. It, it's really works pretty good, but there's just a little bit where hmm. when you actually have a real person that uh, makes it so much better. So that's why. Uh, the circle is just going to wrap my mind a little bit. Pro Writing oh, yeah. Aid. Okay. Pro Writing Aid.com. This is a pretty cool, cool, cool little deal they got going. There's a, a cross type that after a, a paste something in there, all these little different. It gives you a summary in the real time of style, grammar, tells you overused uh, words, the readability. Uh, tells you if you have any cliches, which uh, cliches are that it's a it, it, one one thing I was reading or, or listening to it was uh, cliches are okay when you're writing. Go ahead and put them in there, let, and then when you come back in your revision and stuff, uh, take that out and uh, have the just just story the tell you're telling uh, uh, actually say it itself that the uh, person hearing it will uh, get to something like that without actually hearing it. And then there's the sticky, the sticky parts and yeah. diction and uh, uh, other things here. All repeats, echo, structure, sentence, you got a thesaurus and an acronym and dialogue and consistency. And then there's a button for more. Um, so it's been pretty good to help. It, but it also is a bit of a confounder time, uh, times too, where you, 
uh, how many ways can you say it? <laughs> yeah. But as uh, my brother oh, yeah, policy yeah. is revise, revise, revise. So uh, that is the concept here. The radio writing is to take and have, as I'm talking, uh, have it transferred into type and then go back through there and then cut out all that, the crap out of it. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, and, yeah, and make yeah. it into, you know, uh, yeah. cohesive uh, uh, readability. Yeah. A piece of art. Yeah, it's got to be artful yeah. too. So it has yeah. to it has to be attractive. Uh, sure. Uh, so it'll be in blog as a uh, like a magazine type format, hmm. or a uh, novella or a, uh, whatever. Ooh, a novella. novella. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> to you, Mister, a novella. <laughs> thirteen, yeah. thirteen chapters. Uh, okay. In the One half. Thirteen. Thirteen and a half, actually. The last being the prologue and. Uh, so a judge, a jury, and a half as chance. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. That's yeah. the uh, that's the theme. And then so uh, thirteen weeks, fourteen actually. Yeah. Um, and in each one of those weeks yeah. will be a theme, and yeah. all the little sub parts in there. So yeah. it'll be a quarterly, first quarter publication of uh, the radio writing series. Right. And that will be the book of the. Uh, uh, my witness to the and you got it have you got a chant have you got a <laughs> channel on bit shoot yes yes oh yeah i was one of the first when they what's it called so i know what so I can what matters uh okay what matters world, most no worldwide no I'll, I'll get it for you oh okay i'll, I'll, I'll make it even easier i'll even get the the channel give me a link hey, I, man, I, I didn't do that i'm the missing link that your uh, brother warned you about, people. What That's matters? Right. What matters worldwide? Vincent Easley the second to capital I, uh, Roman numeral two. Yeah. That's it. That's oh, me. Vincent what if, Easley. I, I. What? What if the hundredth monkey monkey came and went? And what we're doing is what he taught us. <laughs> you know, to be to be weak and not challenge authority came from somebody, somewhere. Yeah, I challenged where, it. Where, yeah, well, it's it's an endless nightmare of you cannot beat us. It's right, and it's very scary. You know, I was very cooperative of being uh, open and forthright and not being a dick and so forth and introducing yeah. myself when I went into the courtroom in Denver. And uh, yeah. at, the, at the end, you know what I got from Robert Shapiro, uh, the, the prosecutor, was threat and intimidation. and uh, his attempt to instill fear in me uh, is the true terrorist. And uh, that was at the trial of Bruce Doucette, a wonderful man. Oh, okay. uh, Brent Thornton and I stayed at uh, his wife's house in his housewife uh, for a week during the trial. And I got to know uh, somewhat uh, a, a little bit. I got, I got to know Bruce. I got to, I got to talk to a lot of people that knew him. Uh, a, a look and an insight of who the man was. What a great guy. Hey, the, the short story is this man helped people all the time. Somebody car broke down and uh, boom, there's your car. It's that type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Darks, for the sub, but uh, what matters? Somebody kill him. Good shot, Grimmer. He got <laughs> Dork Wars. Yeah, you see him come out here quacking. Of course, you realize this means war. This means says war. duck. Quack. Uh -huh. quack quack. Yeah, that's right. You're anti duck, and I'm not. Uh, yes. I, I like the ducks. I see the ducks every time I go to town. That's not when I go. That is deep not deep into town. I see ducks. That's not the duck. Of whom I know people. it's it's, but I see the real ones, and it, it it's very comforting to be reminded of how good I got it. I want you to look at that. Drimner has killed 999 ducks. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Whoop, whoop. And that means something. To yeah, say. that's numbers. 999. Uh, there's, the, I, in my radio series, I, there's numbers, and they all uh, have some. Something. Yeah. Yeah, 9 and 12 and 3s. And yeah. Just a way to partition and break it down, right? Okay. Well, you get a... Um, Wave good night and tell everybody what's going to be going on when we're finished at, with this program. Do I have to get dressed? You no, know, you can, and you can even direct traffic with your wiener. No, we. Uh, I think we was talking about snakes earlier. 
Oh, okay. There's no a snake. There's ice. It's icing out here a little bit. It's going to be maybe a very pretty and I don't know how much we're going to ice. Maybe snow. We'll see what comes this way. Very good. Yeah, and I'm holed up for the winter. And I, Are you? yeah, I'm so happy to sit up in here and do this project. This uh, oh, good, good one good, for my brother good. too. Yeah. Uh, working on gene the genealogy project and uh, adding to the Google. Um, you guys, uh, I'll grab that uh, the Google site for Stephen Easley Cemetery in Kingsport, Tennessee. In the picture. Well, That's well thanks. Hey, thanks for popping up on the old dork table and helping me get through it. Well, thanks for having me because uh, I just needed to get on and be moosed. Well, and I, you moose me figure, right away. Uh, you, yeah. You'll you moose me. But I figure, you know, life will take me where it wants me to go. And if I'm supposed to do it alone, I do it alone. That's right. And when other people got something going on, they want to uh, come on to the show. And then they do. Do what you do, and, baby. That's what I well that was what I was looking to create when I started it. So I'm glad that you come and hang out. Thanks. Hey, thanks, Phil. Anyway, tell us what's going on and thanks. See everybody else later. And okay. Come back. Hey, and all that kind of crazy. We're shit. Uh, we're killing ducks. We're always hanging out over here. <laughs> come on along anytime. Now tomorrow morning uh, we're going to be playing some trivia. So if you'd like to uh, join there and trivia. Yeah. yeah I like uh, trivia. And Grimner will play some <laughs> blues. I'm hold up. That's right, Grim. Hold up in the hills. So the uh, following, but well, we start that out at uh, noon Eastern and three o'clock Eastern. Hal Anthony is here behind the woodshed. It's uh, noon o'clock out there on the left coast. And we get some lessons behind the woodshed examining the occupation that we're under. Uh, come back Tuesday again for uh in a perfect world and contrasting the occupation. And uh, I expect I may uh, come over and jump on you again over there. Uh, Dan Grammy's at uh, Wednesday, six Friday at six. And then the freakers ball y'all, which was last night uh, at uh, 10 o'clock my time, 11 Eastern. And, yeah. and then, then the dark table again. Dorky dork, 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 dork. Dork, da -da -dum, dum, dum. Okay. Well, I did my unusual thank you. And uh, Tuesday night, if you guys want to pop up to in a in a perfect world, if you're on the wire, you know how to find me. So with that, I'm I'm over and out, Roger Wilco, and all that. Willy, Willy, and Willy won't. I guess. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. So are we out? We're out. Peace out. Later, everyone.